Hiya, I'm that Jay Brisbane. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of three Aqua Garden expansions. <laughs> Hello everyone, today I've got a slightly different unboxing for you. I'm going to be unboxing three expansions to this game here, which is called Aqua Garden. Uh, now, Aqua Garden is a game about building your own aquarium. If you haven't seen me unbox this game already, uh, there is another video on this channel of me unboxing it, so go ahead and check that one out before you watch this one with the expansions. Unless, of course, you're only interested in the expansions, you may already have this game, know how it works, know what's in the box, and just want to know what you get in the other expansions. In that case, stick around, because that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Um, you have three expansions for this game. You've got the outdoor expansion, which I believe is the larger of the three expansions uh, and actually adds more to your aquarium space. Whereas then you've got the other two, which is the Sea Jewelry and the Sea King expansions, and they just add more marine life to the game with some slightly altered mechanics. Now I got these three expansions on Kickstarter when I got the base game, when I backed the base game on Kickstarter. Uh, some of them were Kickstarter rewards, I believe, some of them were add-ons, so it really, you know, depends. I think they will all just get a mainstream release. These are, as with the base game, all Japanese, so you can see on the backs of the boxes everything is in Japanese. But they do come with English instructions on the inside as well. The main thing that we want to be looking at here are the really cool meeples, and that really is the main reason that I backed this on Kickstarter the really cool fish meeples. Um, and hopefully, this will just add more to the base game. So, without further ado, let's get them to the table and open them all up. Okay, so here we have the three expansions. We've got the outdoor expansion, we've got the sea jewelry expansion, and we've got the sea king expansion. Um, let's just tear into these. Um, as you can see on the side here, uh, this is a one to four player game uh, for 15 up. It takes 40 to 60 minutes. Now that is the base game, because of course this is the expansion for the base game. So let's just take off the lid and have a look at what's inside. There we go. So we've got a nice lid. I do like the art on this. I have to say just the, you know, the box art is really pretty in general. Uh, now inside you've got a Ziploc bag full of meeples here, uh, which has got uh, your whales, uh, sea lion and some jellyfish in there. You've got some cards. Now the cards, as you can see on the top here, are in Japanese. There should be an English and a Japanese version of every card in here. Uh, that is the idea. You've got the backs of the cards there. We'll have a look through those in a moment. Uh, and then inside as well, you've got the instructions. Now the instructions, as with the cards, come in two different versions. You've got the Japanese language one here, and you've got the English language one here. I'm interested in the English language one, so I'm just going to open that one up. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. So basically, the outdoor expansion gives you an extra tank in the main game of uh, Aqua Garden. Um, so you get an outdoor tank, and then I believe it's just these uh, animals that can go in that outside tank. If you want to read the rules or look at the setup, you can see them there. That's the first side. Pause the video if you're interested in those rules. And then you can pause that side now as well and read those. Um, but that's it. Let's open up the cards because why not? Let's make this relatively quick. I don't want to make this too long a video because we've got three of these to get through. So let's have a look. We've got Japanese cards, Japanese cards. And then here we are. Same cards again in English. So all of these really are are reference cards. So they just tell you how to score for each of these new creatures. So for the sea lion, take one coral token from the seaboard or receive one fund. End of game, earn one victory point for each coral token in your aquarium. Then you've got the dolphin, um, so take one seaweed token from the seaboard or receive one fund. So basically the same thing but with a different resource. Then we've got the, uh, the larger whale, which I think is a blue whale, but it might not be. I'm not sure on this one. Um, swap one fish token on the fair board with one fish token in your aquarium or receive one fund. End of game. Earn one victory point for each of your water tanks in which the oxygen supply matches the oxygen supply consumption. Finally, then you've got the orca or the killer whale. Take any one fish token from the seaboard or receive one fund, same again. End of game, earn one victory point for each regular fish token in your aquarium. And then finally, we've got the uh, jellyfish card. When you check to see if you have achieved a milestone, you may use this as a substitute 
for any one token of the requirement. So jellyfish are effectively wild tokens. That's basically what that means. And then, as I said, you've got those exact same cards again, but in Japanese. And then let's do the most important thing, the meeples. And there we go. We've got a nice dolphin token there. That's really nice. I really like these, these meeples. They are lovely, well printed, good thickness, bottlenose dolphin. Then we have our uh, sea lion. Again, really nicely printed there. Lovely shapes. I like the fact that it's standing on a rock, which makes it less likely to break as well. Uh, but really nice detail printing. You can see it's even got the whiskers on their face there. Uh, let's look at the orca or the killer whale. Again, lovely, really nicely printed token there. Both sides. Lovely stuff. Nice and thick. Great. Last one then, which I think is a blue whale, as I say. Again, really nicely printed. It's got these really nice patterns, really high contrast between the actual colour of the wood or the colour um, painting of the wood and then the print on the side as well. So the print stands out really nicely. Another lovely meeple. And then we've got four of these jellyfish, which, as we've established, are... Um, or wild, so they can count as other fish instead. Uh, the prints aren't all aligned super well, so you can see a couple of these are very low, but you know, these are meeples, the sort of slight misalignment of printing is very common um, and not an issue at all. Really nice, lovely looking pieces there. So now we've got everything in this outdoor expansion here. Let's look at the sea jewelry expansion. This is easier done without a knife, turns out. Again, same as before, back of the boxes in Japanese. You can see what's going to be in here. Uh, let's flip it over, open it up, and have a look. So, exactly the same thing again, where we've got a bag of meeples. Then we've got some more fish and um, other cards. So, I don't think there are going to be any sort of changes to the way the game plays. It's just different fish here, if memory serves. And then again, the two sets of rules. Is the top one going to be the English one again? Yes, it is. That's convenient. So, we go just one sided rules this time. So, if you want to pause, there you go. And the little flavour text here says, There are still many wonders that are unknown in the deep wide ocean. This expansion pack introduces the following new advanced fish tokens. But, yep, yeah, there you go. So, there are some advanced rules up the top here. Until you get used to the game, it is recommended that only three types of advanced fish token are used. Um, once you get used to the game, you may increase the number of tokens you use. So basically, as far as I understand it, is you would replace some of the base game components with some of these more advanced tokens um, once you get into the game and you've played it a few times, uh, just to give yourself a little bit more replayability. So as I said before, these are really about these lovely meeples, so replacing some of the main game meeples with some of these meeples. Um, but let's, before we look at those look at the cards as we did before um, these are going to be slightly different to the cards in the previous expansion so these are just the actual cards you've got six of them three in Japanese three in English Let's put the Japanese ones to one side uh, and these are basically the pools from which you are going to be drawing these meeples from uh, and they really act to tell you what these things do so it costs eight it's got a minus two on the oxygen, and then it's just worth 10 victory points. And then you've got the otter and scallop, which looks like it has some fairly advanced rules where you can buy the otter for minus two oxygen, um, and it costs three, uh, or a scallop for uh, one and one. And then these tokens, I presume, work together when you've got a set. Uh, but that's quite nice. Um, and then we've got these, I think these are called sea butterflies, if memory serves. Earn one victory point for each milestone card you have achieved. Pretty straightforward stuff. Finally then, and most importantly, as we've established previously, the meeples. Let's have a look at those. Let's get them all out for a moment. This is our Colocanth. Again, really nice contrast between that black of the actual meeple itself and the printing really lovely Got the sea butterflies a uh, few of those you get four of those i believe in this box yes four of those uh, again lovely again some slight issues with the registration of the print but to be expected and with this kind of thing it's really nice to get a little bit of variety in them they feel a little bit more kind of unique and handmade uh, which is just a nice feeling to get um, and then finally, we've got our otters. I will only show you one otter. And then, of course, the little scallop as well, which you place on top, and that gets you your little bonus points. Again, really detailed print there. You can see with the otter's face and that scallop there that sits on top. 
So again, really lovely meeples, that's the main thing here. And so now we've looked at that, let's look at the Sea King here. This is another expansion with, I believe, just advanced meeples, no kind of uh, additional components to the board like this one. This one gives you outside tank, this one gives you advanced meeples, uh, and this one again just gives you advanced meeples or fish or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's try and get in without using the knife at all this time, there we go. So let's take the lid off and have a look inside. Uh, again, bag of meeples, lots of meeples in this one, so we've got more meeples, or certainly feels like it's more weighty than the others, um, but let's put that to one side. Go straight to the instructions again. They go, nothing on that side, just this side. So let's just read through this little blurb bit. We don't need to worry too much about the rest of the instructions because we're just looking at um, some more advanced fish tokens, as we'll find out. In the wide ocean, there are many unique and wonderful creatures. This expansion pack introduces such advanced fish tokens as follows. Giant squids, oarfish, sea urchin, and blue tang. But there you go, that's the rules. If you want to have a pause there, read them through, go right ahead. But let's move on to the more interesting stuff, the cards and then the meeples. So cards first, same backs as before. We've got four Japanese cards, four English cards as before. Pop them to one side like that. And then let's look through what these do. So we've got the giant squid, uh, which uh, is costs five and has five oxygen cost. Earn one victory point for each coral token and each seaweeds token in your aquarium during scoring. Then we've got the, uh, I think this is the Oarfish, if memory serves. Uh, at the end of the game, if your owner token is in the first, second, third or fourth space on the standby track, earn 9, 6, 3 or 0 victory points respectively. So that's a very interesting kind of scoring which we haven't seen before. As I say, advanced scoring. Uh, now we've got the Sea Urchin. The oxygen supply to the water tank where this is placed is increased by one. Can be used in addition to seaweed tokens effects. Earn two victory points for each token during final scoring. And you've got your blue tank, which is the dory fish, as everybody will understand, I'm sure. And that's just earn one victory point for each seaweed token in your aquarium during scoring. So there you go, that's the cards for the fish. And let's look at those fish. We've got quite a number, as I say before. So we've got one, and only one, of the giant squid. That's a lovely meeple, such a unique and different shape, that meeple, isn't it? And lovely printing again, multiple colours here, uh, some really fine lines, great, lovely. Then we've got the sea urchins, four of those. Uh, that's a really interesting print because that really does look quite different to the other prints. It's not got that same graphic design style. It's got the purple and the black, nice tokens though, yeah, like those. Let's do the oarfish next. Black meeple there with the printing of the oarfish on it. And then uh, a second colour as well. Lovely. Printed both sides. Really detailed. Beautiful meeples. Finally then, here's Dory. And blue Tang. Again, lovely meeples. Interesting shape. They've actually got a little cutout you can see at the bottom there where the fins are. Uh, really nice. Again, good contrast. Good meeples, slightly off registration again, but not a problem. So those are our three expansions for Aqua Garden. What lovely meeples, what lovely little expansions here. Um, they really don't do overly complex things to change the gameplay, which I think is usually good when it comes to expansions. So with particularly the Sea Jewelry and the Sea King expansions here, so Sea Jewelry, Sea King, You've just got advanced fish or creatures, I guess, um, that you can replace some of the others with from the base game. And so really what we've got here is just these two expansions give us some variety to the game so we can swap in and out the different creatures. Whereas this expansion, the outdoor expansion, gives us something a little bit new, something a little bit different. It basically gives each player an ability if they get one of these creatures um, and then it throws in these kind of wild jellyfish that can be used in place of other things to help with scoring. So this does actually change the gameplay a little bit whereas these just add some new things. So that's really it. Let me know your favourite meeple in this collection of expansions um, down in the comments below. Check out the main video for Aqua Garden if you haven't done that already. Keep smiling, thank you very kindly, and I will see you on the next video.